I bought a week-long Disney World vacation once for myself and for my family. Now, pressing that Buy Now button, that was tough. I mean, those things are expensive. But the interactivity of their website and the customization options actually made it a blast to keep logging on well after we made the initial purchase. The process of buying a solution shouldn't end after the initial buy. Disney gets this, and Disney gets their customers. To be a great ed tech salesperson, it's not enough to just learn a selling process. You need to get the educators that you sell to, and you need to understand what they deal with. So let me give you some examples. Here are three things that educators never seem to have a lot of. The first is time. They don't have time to learn new software in class, so keep this in mind. And try not to leave everything to the client success team or the implementation team to just take care of. The second thing they don't get a lot of is choice. Chances are, at least in K-12, many of the teachers who were expected to use your product in class weren't even involved in the buying decision. So maybe they're scorning your new solution, not because it doesn't have chocolatey goodness, but because it was forced on them. Encourage their feedback. You'll be surprised at how far a little recognition actually goes. And the third thing they don't get a lot of is support. I mean, educators are under a spotlight of criticism from every side. So shadow a class, attend a school committee meeting. If you can demonstrate that you really want to understand their challenges, you're going to help them get the most out of your solution. So give it a try and then see how willing they are to keep buying from you. Thanks so much for watching.